Hey everybody, Rick Needham, Handicapping Thoroughbred Racing on Thanksgiving Day, Thursday afternoon, November the 24th, and this is my Equibase Winter Circle East Coast Racing Report. Let's go to the Big A first for their Race 8 feature, 2.42 p.m. Eastern Post Time. This is the Fall High White Handicap, 6 furlongs on the dirt, grade 3, 3 year olds and up race for $100,000. Got a pair of entry on top, number one, Kasha Electronica, and number one, X Calibre Choa. Top my contenders list, which also include number six, Escrow Kid, number four, Sunrise Smarty, and number eight, Nathan's HQ. For you folks who enjoy a little thoroughbred racing history to accompany your handicapping efforts today, the Fall High White Handicap was inaugurated at Belmont Park in 1914. It's now restricted to three-year-olds and up. The race was open to all ages prior to 1959. The inaugural running, by the way, was won by a two-year-old filly named Comley. The racing secretary must assign at least 140 pounds to the top-weighted horse in this event. That last rule, however, which was posted on the Naira web website, possibly has been changed. As I know, the high weight on today's feature date is number one X Calibre Choa, who is assigned just 136 pounds, 16 pounds higher than his last start. Anyways, in this 98th renewal of the test, number one Kasha Electronica shares the speed honor spreading at six furlongs on the dirt with Caliber Choa, has hit the board in four straight, winning twice, including a power run win in her fourth race back. Jockey Johnny Velasquez and trainer Todd Pletcher send the postward. They've whacked the topo with 55% of their last 400 entry saddles a team to date. Caliber Choa has hit the board in four of his last five respective bodies, winning twice including a power run winner in his fifth race back. The 12 to 1 bomb number 6 escrow kid comes off a power run win his last time out. Race 8 summary, paired entry of number 1 Kasha Electronica and the stable mate number 1 X Keller Brachoa top my contenders list which also includes today number 6 escrow kid number 4 Sunrise Smarty and number 8 Nathan's HQ1648 in the 8th from Aqueduct the $100,000 grade 3 fall high weight handicap. Let's go to Churchill Downs next for their feature, race 11, 424 p.m. Eastern Post Time. This is the Fall City Handicap, nine furlongs on the dirt, grade two, fillies and mares, three years old and up, racing for a stakes prize of $175,000. Contenders, number one, Arena Elvira, number 10, Ravi Song, number eight, Super Espresso, and number five, Juanita. Number one, Arena Elvira qualifies as a Trackmaster Plus Power Pony, the overall speed leader in the stakes field, racing at nine furlongs on the dirt, has hit the board in power run fashion each of her last five, winning four times in this recent streak of racing consistency. Number 10, Ravi Song, a four to one shot, has hit the board in power run fashion in four of her last five, winning in her fifth race back. Race 11 summary, number one, Arena Elvira, tops the contenders list today, which also includes number 10, Ravi Song, number eight, Super Espresso, and number five, Juanita, 110. 8-5 in the 11th from Churchill, the $175,000 grade 2 Fall Cities Handicap. Bonus long shots go to the fabulous fairgrounds, race 9. Here in the $75,000 Thanksgiving Stakes, number 8, Joe Hollywood, a 4-1 to shot. Sit the board in power run fashion in four of his last five ventures, including back-to-back -back power run wins in his last two outings. Woodbine race course in Ontario, Canada, race 8, 12 to 1 bomb, number 13, Peach Thunder, qualifies as a Trackmaster plus power pony, takes a three level class drop as the overall speed leader in this maiden field, racing at or about today's distance of 8 and 1 half furlongs on the dirt. So, handicapping from both Aqueduct and Churchill Downs on Thanksgiving Day, repeat for the Equibase Winter Circle, reminding you as always to please bet with your head, not over it.